Hi, this is Anil from Learning Glad Education and welcome to another tutorial on uh, C programming language. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how we're going to swap two numbers by using a temporary variable. If you want to swap two numbers and you don't want to use a temporary variable, then you guys need to watch my another tutorial. And here, you know, just going to be using the temporary variable to get the job done. So uh, here, I have created this swap two numbers project in my uh, core blocks IDE and I have this main.c file and I have this main function inside that file and here uh, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna define some variables and uh, our variables are gonna be of type integers and I'm gonna call my first variable as x and then I'm gonna call my second variable as y and then we're gonna have another variable and I'm gonna call it as temp and I'm gonna initialize my temp variable with a value of zero. All right, now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the user to enter the values for the x and y. So I'm gonna use a printf function and then we're gonna uh, say uh, enter the values for x and y. All right. Now uh, we're gonna use the scanf function and we're gonna receive the input from the user. So it's gonna be scanf, you know, the function name. And then we're gonna use the format specifier as percentage %d and percentage %d because we are receiving two values. And then we're gonna store the values in our x variable and then we're gonna store the values in our y variable. Now, after this statement, you know, the user is gonna enter the values and uh, that values are going to be stored in this x and y and before swapping the values of this x and y what we're going to do is we're just going to print out the values so i'm going to use a printf function again and here i'm going to say um, before swapping x equal to percentage d and y equal to percentage d and then we're going to refer the variables x and y all right now here what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap the values of this x and y so to swap the values of this x and y by using a temporary variable or you know by using a third variable we can use this logic you guys can see here the logic is first we're gonna store the value of our x variable in the temp variable at that time our temp variable and our x variable are gonna be containing the same value and then we're gonna store the value of y variable in our x variable so at that time x is gonna contain the value of y variable and y variable is gonna contain its own value and our temp variable is going to contain the value of x and in the third step what we're going to do is we're going to assign the value which we have stored in the temp variable in the y variable so uh, after these three steps our x variables value will be stored in the y variable and y variables value will be stored in the x variable now uh, if it is confusing don't worry you know we're going to see an example so uh, let's say the user is going to enter a value of 5 for the variable x and 8 for the variable y and also we have stored a value of 0 in our temp variable so now the first step is going to be we're going to write temp equal to x or you know we're going to be storing the value of our x variable in the temp variable so at that time our x is containing a value of 5 and our y is containing a value of 8 and because of this temp equal to x this temp variable is going to contain the value of 5 so uh, after this first step you know x and temp are going to contain the value of 5 and y is going to contain 8 then in the second step what we're going to do is we're going to write x equal to y we're going to store the value of y variable in the x variable and after executing the second step what happens is our x variable is going to contain the value of y which is 8 so this x is going to contain 8 and then our y is going to contain 8 you know we haven't modified the value of y variable and our temp variable is containing the value of 5 now you guys can see here you know in the first step we have uh, stored the value of 5 in the temp variable or you know we have stored the value of x variable in the temp variable so uh, in the third step what we're gonna do is we're gonna write y equal to temp so at that time what happens is our x variable is containing the value of 8 you know it is not modified in the third step and then our y variable will get the value of temp and that's why 
it's gonna get the value of 5 you guys can see here temp is containing 5 and here it's gonna be 5 and temp will contain 5 all right now after executing these three steps what happens is our x variable is going to contain a value of 8 and y is containing a value of 5 so you guys can see here in the beginning x was containing 5 and y was containing 8 and after executing these three steps or you know after applying this logic our x and y variables values are swapped so this is going to be the logic that we're going to use in our program to swap the values of two numbers and we're going to do that by using this temporary or you know the third variable all right now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply this logic to our code so here first we're going to write temp equal to x then we're going to write x equal to y and then we're going to write y equal to temp all right now the last thing that we're gonna do is you know we're just gonna print out these swapped values so i'm gonna copy this printf statement and i'm gonna paste it here and i'm gonna say after swapping and then i'm gonna save my project and i'm gonna build and run it and now you guys can see here first we need to enter the values for our x and y i'm gonna enter a value of 5 for x and I'm gonna enter 8 for y and now you guys can see before swapping x is 5 and y is 8 and after swapping x is 8 and y is 5 so we can say that our program has successfully swapped the values of two numbers and uh, if you want to run it again I'm just gonna close it and run it again so uh, run and this time we're gonna enter some other values let's say 10 and 20 for x and y respectively and you guys can see here before swapping x is 10 y is 20 and after swapping x is 20 and y is 10 so uh, this is how you guys can swap two numbers by using a temporary variable as i told you before if you want to swap the values of two numbers and you don't want to use the temporary variable then you guys can uh, check out my another tutorial where i have uh, taught you guys about that so uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channels so that whenever i upload new videos you're gonna be get notified and also you guys can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning light follow me on twitter at learning light edu and check out my website learninglight.com for more tutorials